So we're checking out the GLMT 3000 Barrel AX. This is an awesome little mobile router, pocket-sized router that comes pre-installed with WireGuard and VPN, guys. So that is really cool, and that's a big deal because when you're out traveling, you don't want somebody to kind of get a hold of your information. And this little bad boy is what's gonna protect you from that happening. Now out of the box, you can tell this thing is made out of really nice material. It looks like it's a, a very hard plastic, but it's like a very, very pla hard plastic to where if you were to drop this a bunch, I'm pretty sure it would just bounce right up and be completely fine. Now you can go ahead and just lift up the antennas like this and it'll just do its thing right there. You have what is the power right here, the five volts to three right there, that'll be the power connector. You have the 2.5 WAN port, then you have a LAN port, then you have a USB 3.0. Now one cool thing about this is that it's a multi-power voltage power adapter. And what that exactly means is that if you go to different countries, which is why you would have maybe a travel router, maybe you travel to different countries, and you needed to plug it into the walls, and you, as you know, there could be different power outlets. This will come connected with the ones that you need, which is really, really neat. And if you guys take a look, you can see the kind of different ones that we have here. Obviously, this will be the one I use, but you have all these right here, so really, really cool. And then it also comes finally with an ethernet cable. We'll go ahead now and test out some speeds. We'll go ahead and test out, look, take a look at the settings and the menu and see if this bad boy really works. And we're also gonna do something really cool. We're gonna actually plug this into a 5G modem. So that is something that I'm really looking forward to. All right, now, so I wanted to showcase this bad boy in a lot of different ways. Let's first off show off the speeds of this thing because that's really what I find really the most impressive. Now, I actually have this plugged into a 5G modem. We'll actually plug this into a regular modem as well, but I wanted to showcase if I wanted to go mobile, right? If you were doing an RV or whatever the case may be, you may be using just a 5G modem that's gonna hit a 5G tower and then you're gonna go ahead and plug it into this router. So let me go ahead now, as you guys can see, I've already kind of was messing with it before I press play. And uh, I was definitely having some issues, so I wanna give you guys a warning. You might have to do some reboots and some things like that, of that nature, but this is running off a Google Fi SIM card, 5G modem into this little router and this little router is powering up and giving me these speeds, which is incredible. I mean, look at this right here. And if you guys take a look, I'm completely running off the Wi-Fi here. I, I mean, I'm getting speeds of 300 10 megabit upload running through a 5G modem into a router. That is incredible. I don't know how else to describe that. That is crazy good. Let me go ahead now and do it with my regular modem in my house so you guys can see kind of the speeds that you're getting with this little device. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is that I have the normal modem in my house and I get about a thousand uh, download speed. I have the, the normal modem plugged into my computer, my laptop. So I wanna give you guys what the speed test is first of what this is without Wi-Fi, and then we'll actually test to see how much this thing can actually, you know, still do its thing. So I, again, I do wanna repeat, this is my home modem. So I'm getting close to 1000 speeds just plugged in directly into the laptop. As you guys can see, this is just a direct connection. And then I get about a 100 upload speed as well. It says it's about 115. So this is my direct connection. Let me go ahead now, and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this bad boy, and we're gonna, make that thing kind of angry. We're gonna go ahead and take out the 5G modem and we're gonna plug in directly into the into the GLI Net Barrel AX. Let's go ahead now and get some speeds out of this. So this will now jump to the Wi-Fi. It does have me set right now to the Barrel AX. Let's go ahead now and hit the speeds. Remember I was getting 945, about 110. So now we'll get an idea of what the Wi-Fi speeds are. And as you guys can see, I mean, that is incredible speed out of this little bad boy. This is insanely cool. I'm so happy to see this. And uh, my goodness, 850. So I'm not too far off from maybe about 100 off of what my download speed was with me being hardwired with an ethernet. And then if you look at the upload speed, it's the exact same thing, the exact same speed. So this thing is, this little device is incredible because I actually own a huge, Wi-Fi modem combo and Netgear Nighthawk. And this little bad boy is actually giving me better speeds than that. Let me actually test the Wi-Fi speeds. My normal Nighthawk that I have, let's see what I get. I'm actually super curious. This is live right here, guys. And what an absolute joke. I need to, <laughs> I need to do something with my, my router and configure it because 
Look at these speeds. I'm getting half the speed. Something that tells me that something's off with my router, that I can only get half the speeds of what I get with this little device. I don't know what else to say. That's really embarrassing. That actually tells me something's up with my router. My very expensive Nighthawk router, by the way. So I don't know if I can endorse this thing even more. This thing's freaking incredible. But before we actually leave, let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the features now. All right, so we do have three different things here. We have a repeater, tethering, and a cellular. So this could actually, the cellular, what you would do is you would plug in your phone into this little USB 3.0 with the phone having maybe the USB-C cable. And then you would actually go ahead and use the tethering with this as well. Then you have the cellular as well. And that says uh, plug in your USB USB modem to start and then you have a repeater and that this is something to help kind of extend the Wi-Fi in your home so those are three things that you can do then we jump over to the VPN dashboard and you can set up your own VPN right here there is the wire guard as well there's a lot of different stuff going on one thing that I really like about this is that you can go ahead and set up a, a VPN and you can set up your very own VPN. You don't actually have to sit there and, and even set up a VPN server, by the way. And you can just go ahead and just, you know, log into a different country if you're like blocked by Netflix. So I'm actually going to be leaving on a trip here in a couple days and I won't have access to the, you know, the United States. And so I would actually VPN that way. What I love about this thing is all the little different things that you can do. There's just so many different types of things that you could really mess with this thing. I mean, you can even set up your own servers, your own VPN servers. There was one thing that I really liked with this that I thought was really insane too. If you look here, you can do a dynamic DNS for this router. And it says that you can actually remotely um, access this router if you were to enable the DDNS. So that's one thing I really, really thought was really cool with this. Then you have things like enable AdGuard Home. What this will do is actually do a blocking of ads and tracking throughout your entire home and everything plugged into this little this little beautiful little gorgeous router. Then you have things like you can set up a firewall and you just have so many different things here. And what I like about this is that the UI for the most part is extremely intuitive. It's extremely awesome. And I'm just a big fan. So overall guys, the GLI Net is a beast and powerhouse of a router. I even showed you guys how even my Nighthawk Netgear gets the half the speeds of this thing, which tells me, like I said, something's wrong with my own network at home. And this little bad boy is just insane. So if you guys are wondering, is this little GLI Net Barrel AX absolutely worth it? I mean, I just think it is. It's just incredible. The good thing is, is that it's in this little pocket size travel. So if you need to bring it on the go, like exactly I'm going to be doing, this thing will fit that bill really easily. You have so much versatility. You can plug it in different countries as well. And you have so much power with this little pocket device. So overall, guys, I couldn't recommend this more.